What is up guys? Welcome back to another Man vs. Deer video. In today's video we're talking all about benches. We're going to talk about how to find them, how to locate them on a topographical map, and then we're going to talk about how to hunt them. Let's jump into it. What a roller coaster of a season it has been. Welcome back to the channel guys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure that you like the video, make sure you drop a comment, especially if you have any questions and definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel uh, to catch more content as it comes out. This video is actually an installment in the terrain series that I'm doing where I break down individually on a video by video basis, the most common terrain features that you're gonna encounter when you're hunting whitetail deer. And I get into the specifics on, you know, what they look like, how to find them on a topographical map and then how to hunt them. Today's video is going to cover benches, and if you don't know what a bench is, I suggest that you click this link here. That video there is an overview on all the terrain uh, features that I'm doing in this series. Just a brief overview, what they are, how to find them, and what they look like on a topographical map. Excellent starting place. Once you watch that, come back to this video, because this video is going to dive into benches specifically. So to kick this video off, I want to do three things. I want to talk about what a bench is. I want to talk about how deer use them. I want to talk about how to find them on a topographical map, and then I want to talk about how to hunt them. So what is a bench? A bench actually exists on the side of a ridge. Uh, and what a bench is, is imagine you've got a ridge that's very, very steep, but about midway through the ridge, there's a certain spot that kind of levels out before it starts dropping off very steeply again, and it kind of parallels the ridge. It's basically a flat or level spot that parallels the side of a ridge and it's the perfect spot to walk across that ridge without having to encounter super super steep terrain it's basically going to be the only section of walkable terrain on an otherwise super super steep hillside next we're going to talk about how to find them on a topographical map uh, basically you find them by walking ridges right the easiest way to find these things is to put boots on the ground uh, a lot of times the elevation uh, lines will be so subtle on the topographical map that they're hard to find. So sometimes walking is going to be the only way. But if you can find them on a topographical map, they'll look kind of like this. You'll notice that in this section of the ridge, the lines get farther and farther apart. If you don't know how to read a topographical map, the closer together the lines are, the steeper the terrain. So when you're looking at the side of a ridge, any time in the, you know, at any part uh, of the ridge, if the lines get farther apart and they kind of bunch back together, that's usually a section of level uh, ground on the side of that ridge. And a lot of times those are going to be benches. Deer like to use these because like we covered earlier, it's the only spot you can parallel this ridge or walk alongside this ridge without encountering super, super steep terrain. So if you or I were to take the ridge in the uh, example earlier and we wanted to walk across it we're not going to walk across the super steep side we're going to find that spot where it levels out where it's going to be super easy walking and we're going to use that deer are exactly the same way and on ridges that have these they're almost always going to get traffic now we're going to move on to the bread and butter of this video which is how to hunt these this part is going to be pretty short and sweet because in my opinion there's only two ways to hunt one i'm going to break down both of those two ways here all right, so in both examples I'm about to lay out, what we need for them to work is a wind that's blowing straight over the top of the ridge and down towards the bench. That is gonna put the bench on what we call the leeward side of the ridge, or the side sheltered from the wind, and effectively allows deer to smell anything that's on top, and of course they can see below, but it's the safest wind they can have to travel those benches, and a lot of times they're not going to travel them unless they have that specific wind, um, barring a few one-off circumstances. So scenario one. Uh, you've got a wind blowing over the top of the ridge and it's super, super steep. In fact, this wind is uh, uh, so strong that it's going to counteract any of the thermals that kind of rise throughout the day and it's gonna be pushing all that scent downhill. That's an easy scenario because obviously we're gonna pick uh, a part of that trail we can get to and we're going to put our stand down one of that trail but close enough to it that we can shoot to it. And that's basically it on example one. Pretty straightforward stuff. The wind's blowing over the trail. We set up downwind on it uh, to where we can still shoot towards it. Example two is going to be a day where there is little to no wind. On a day where there's little to no wind, 
most of the day, excluding like the last 15 minutes before daylight, thermals are going to carry your scent up that hill. Because your scent is moving up that hill, you're going to set your stand above the bench or above the trail. That way your scent is going above it and anything that is using that bench below is not going to be able to smell you. Just like in the example before, you're going to set up close enough to that trail where you can still shoot to it. And the only thing you'll have to worry about is, is about the last 15 minutes of daylight when the thermals start dropping. But most of the day, you're gonna be good in that scenario. And guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. That's what a bench is. That's what it looks like on a topographical map. And that's how you hunt it in a nutshell. Um, I'd love to hear any questions if you got them. Make sure that you drop them in the comments below. Be sure if you haven't already to like the video and definitely subscribe to the channel. A ton of different content most of it is self-filmed diy style hunting but i do get into the tactical stuff and I, I tend to stick towards like the you know people who are just getting into hunting or the beginner side of things but if you're into that kind of thing i would definitely appreciate the sub from you uh i really appreciate you guys taking time to watch this video make sure that you look for other terrain videos that are coming out make sure you check out the other ones that are out too and i will catch you in the next one